SLR. We don't just train, we build careers. So we explore all the feature of pivot table, pivot chart, slicer, right? So let's see, we are going to discuss about dashboard right now. We are going to create one dashboard with the help of pivot table, okay? So this is the data set what we have and I'm going to create one pivot table. So we can go for insert and here we have pivot table. We can click OK right now and here we are. So first of all, we are going to create, we can, let's see here, I'm going to create a reason wise or you can say reason wise basic salary. One pivot table will have you. So go and select here, reason wise basic salary. Region should be in row wise, you can drag and drop here. And we got the answer. We know very well how to arrange the data in ascending descending order. So you can go and arrange this part also. Now, if you don't want how to remove the row label, so you can go for design tab and make it as outline form or tabular form. So here the row wise option is not appear right now. So this is my first pivot table. And based on, if you don't want grand total, you can go for design and here we can off. So this data, we want to create one chart, pivot chart. So go for analyze, pivot chart, and we can create, let's say it should be a column chart itself. And here, if you don't want this axis, you can delete this. If you don't want this legend also, you can delete here. And we don't want this grid lines can be deleted. I want to arrange this data in descending order so you can go and arrange the data in descending order. And here we can, if you want to put value over there, you can just click on design tab and here we can arrange the value here on the data sets. So go for add chart element and here we have a data label, we can put outside end here. You can click here outside and the values appear here there. And you can give a message here like, you know, reason wise, reason wise salary, reason wise salary we have. So our first uh, pivot table we have created and we can rename as, you can double click on this and right here called go for format rename and rename as reason wise reason wise salary this is my first pivot table now again we can go for copy this so how to copy you can click on the move and copy and create one copy here press ok right now and this one we can go and here we can change for example let's say I don't want region wise salary this time. I can uncheck here and this time I want to take here for example department wise salary and here we can department should be in region wise. We got this but this time I want to change the chart here. So go for design tab, change chart type. You can go and check here by chart we have. Let's take here donut or so you can change here like this also. And here we can make the header change also. Let it be department by salary we have. And we can rename this. We can go for format. And here we have rename right here department by salary. So we have created two pivot table. One is region wise, one is department wise. Let's go once again here, go for format, move and copy, create one copy here and press OK right now. So the third pivot table, let me go and change here. We can go and understand region wise we have done and department wise we have done here. We can go and understand more here. Let's go for, let's go and change here for date of joining you can see here date of joining wise and date of joining we can department we can remove this time and date of joining should be here row basis when you go for date of here click on this option here 
or let's say date of joining if you don't want we can uncheck this you can go for edu uh, education field wise you can select here remove this and change this one to go for design tab we can go and change the chart type we can go for line chart we can go for line chart right now and here we can see another trend we have here and here you can change here for example let's say if you don't want this axis we can delete this and if you don't want this grid line can be deleted and department here we can change department no you can say for example let's say education why salary we have so we can change the placement also of this label and go for we can go and data label should it, it should say here above or you can say data uh, data label should be outside and we can put here okay now so we can go and rename this also we can go for rename go for click on this rename button here and write education wide education wise and after all those things you can this is my source works that we have reason wise we can go and put here some slicer and timeline so how to put slicer you can go for insert slicer option and i want to take here one is let me uncheck i want to take one slicer based on gender another slicer based on education field i want to take here two slicers now here we can connect both the slicer so by default this slicer will work on this active worksheet active pivot table so how to connect with all the pivot table you can go for report connection and let's establish the connection from all the pivot table here the same thing we can do by gender also go for report connection and establish the connection from all the pivot table now what we can do all this charts we can go for dashboard right now first of all what we can do we can give a name here for example let's say on the top i can go for some margin center so in home only we have margin center option you can can click on this and go in the center you can increase the font size you can give a back color whatever you want you can and now how to hide this rib, uh, what do you say this grid lines you can hide the grid lines hide the header hide the formula bar and start collecting all the pivot charts together go for control c and here we can assemble all those things go and paste here control v for paste here we are now what we can do the uh, we have you can copy this control c or command c you can come to the dashboard and you can paste here now so this is the reason why we have done that you can hide this so go for home tab and here we can format and you can go and hide hide the worksheet here click on this and hide sheet so this one we have done that department also you can go control c or command c you can copy and paste into the dashboard right now come on before paste and here we can go for this your slicer should be here both the slicers so in the department also we have completed so you can go and hide this now 
uh, raw data we do not want now, so you can hide this as well. Education field, I have a trend line kind of thing, go for copy and we can paste here. Somehow we can this one is not there, you can delete this part. Yeah, we can command C and we can paste here. Command V for paste here. Now here you can assemble this also. You can hide this bit up. Now let's see here what we can do. If you go for page layout, you can get here an option called theme. You can select any kind of theme which one you like. You can just you can click on this and see how it works. You can just click here, employee by salary. I want to know female employees where they are working and what is the salary pattern, which department and which region how much. And you go for male employee, you got the different information. Let's clear this filter right now. I want to um, salary only for arts department people or go for only for commerce and go for only for science. So all this input we are getting within the few clicks here. We can select both. I want to know female employees working, how many are from commerce background and what is the salary pattern and you can go for arts or you can go for science, whatever you want you can do that here. So once you can create here this dashboard, you can easily you can hide even other worksheets. You can go for home tab and here we can hide even this, go for hide and hide sheet also. So this dashboard if you want to, you know, nobody should unhide your other worksheets, so you can go for review and already you know product works it you can do that and how to save this dashboard you can go for share option you will get two options you can share one drive or you can share you can upload and you can share it to anyone so this is a simple example how you can create a dashboard in the excel all right